So nag-manifest na si Senator Soto na he provided a quorum earlier um, because uh, ang swerte ninyo, you came after a very difficult hearing. So uh, this, this should be easy already. So muli, magandang hapon sa inyong lahat. I would like to acknowledge, well, the, pre the, the presence earlier of Senator Soto to provide a quorum for this. So the chair declares the presence of a quorum. This public hearing is called with regards to the application of two broadcast corporations, Iloilo Baptist and Pangasinan Gulf Waves Network for new franchises, and the renewal of franchises of Subic Broadcasting, Beta Broadcasting, Saraga Integrated and Management Corporation, Gateway UHF Television Broad Broadcasting, Filipinas Broadcasting and Infocom Communications Network to operate for another 25 years. We have invited the stakeholders to air their views as these would aid the committee in crafting the bill that will be endorsed to the plenary for debate by the Senate as a whole. A franchise to operate, a public utility, is granted by legislative grace. Hindi po ako. Hindi, hindi ko po salita yun. Isang terminong sinabi ni Senator Lorenzo Tanyada. But only after establishing that there is a public need for such a service and that the applicant has the means to adequately provide it. So today, we have some of the applicants so they can explain to us why they deserve to, re to receive such authorization. We have also invited the government regulators to ask them if the grantee has faithfully complied with all the duties and the deliverables which were attached as conditions for the enjoyment of their existing franchises. Ang mga prangkisa ay pwede pong magsilbi ng checklist kung nagawa ba ng aplikante ang kanyang mga obligasyon at tungkulin sa nakalipas na 25 taon. Recently, we have already sponsored and passed on the floor the renewal of franchises of bigger grantees like GMA Broadcasting and Smart Communications. Today, let us see if the House versions can be reconciled with the proposals as deliberated on the Senate floor. In particular, we would like to know the current tax liabilities of the applicants. For the commercial franchises, do they actually profit from continuing to operate under their franchise? Nagagamit ba talaga nila ang mga franchises na ina-apply nila? For the new franchises, it is important that we ask the government regulator if there is still enough frequency or wave like, wavelengths for new players. Another point of discussion on the applicants for a new franchise is on the sufficiency of their capitalization to support their operations for the coming years and the need to file a bond to ensure compliance with NTC regulations. Panahon na siguro upang maghigpit tayo ng pagpapatupad ng mga regulasyon ng NTC. We want to make sure that all applicants are fit to enter the broadcasting and telco playing field so as to encourage competition and drive companies to provide better service, which is key. There are a lot of franchises up for hearing today, but we will try to go through them as much efficiency as possible. So today, to answer these questions and also to ask them, our members of the committee, my uh, and the invited resource persons and other guests. Let me acknowledge uh, each, each of you. Um, Department uh, Commissioner Edgar Caballos of the NTC, Engineer Alvin Blanco, NTC, Attorney Kathleen Gatdula, SEC, Attorney Correo of the SEC, Father Roberto Ebisa, SVD General Manager ng Word Broadcasting Corp, uh, Mr. Thomas Aquino, President New Telco, Telcom, Telcom, Telecom Company Inc. Mr. Velarde, Executive Committee Chairman, New Telecom Company Inc. Uh, Mr. Jesus Luis Sariaga, President Broadcast Division, SIMC. And Ms. Isabella Villamil, Chief Economic Officer, PCC, Philippine Competition to. And uh, Mr. James Gordon Jr., Subic Broadcasting Corporation. Uh, Ms. Eileen Cuevas Sanchez, Station Manager, Subic Broadcast 
renewal kayo. No? Uh, Pastor Nelson Paolo, Gateway UHF Television, Pastor Gilbert Poras, and dami pa lang mga holy people dito. No? Station Manager Iloilo Baptist Church Inc., Miss Annabel Tarde, Finance Manager Iloilo, Mr. Pauline Militar Lialora, uh, Beta Broadcasting Service Inc., uh, Mr. Juan de la Cruz, talagang Juan de la Cruz, ha? Juan Johnny de la Cruz, uh, VP Finance, uh, Beta Broadcasting, Engineer Christopher Orpilia, Technical Manager, uh, hindi ko po mabasa, Pangasinan Golf, at Attorney Nelson Gayo, Pangasinan Golf uh, Network Corporation. So, Magandang hapon muli. Um, umpisahan na lang natin sa, siguro sa NTC muna. Lahat na ba ng mga nag apply dito ngayon, renewal at saka mga bagong franchises, uh, nasuri ninyong mabuti? Uh, <clears throat> thank you very much, Your Honor, and good afternoon. Uh, yes, Pot, uh, we have uh, uh, participated in the deliberations of the House and we have provided uh, information to the House. And we supported uh, the uh, uh, renewal of the franchises of the existing uh, um, broadcast companies as well as the telco and also the uh, new franchises to these two new broadcast companies. So my question is, number one, do they have the capitalization, all of them? Kaya ba nila? May pera sila? Meron ba silang uh, lehitimong kompanya? Uh, Your Honor, uh, we uh, scrutinize their... Uh, uh, their financial resources once they apply for authority. Because of the required uh, financial uh, uh, capability of the applicant, uh, the applicant should have at least 30% paid equity. Uh, don't push a project cost. So if the project cost is, say, 10 million, at least 3 million pong paid capital. Niya. So once nag apply po sila, don't po namin uh, is scrutinize at ima mandate po yung uh, kanilang. Uh, uh, financial uh, capability. And so far, everybody's compliant with the 30% paid up uh, capital? Uh, the existing ones, uh, yes, uh, Your Honor. Even the, the new ones, uh, malalaman lang huwag kasi natin pagka nag-apply na sila, ano yung extent ng kanilang uh, application? Hindi ba nag-apply na sila ngayon? Uh, yun yung bago, hindi pa po. Yung old, yes. Yung renewal, oh, yes. But the, the uh, bago, hindi pa because uh, one of the requirements before they can apply is a franchise from Congress. Okay. Oh, I see. I see what you mean. Okay. So we have to grant them the franchise first before we can actually scrutinize those. But how do we know before we grant the franchise? Sino makakapagsabi sa atin kung meron ba silang kapitalisasyon at meron ba silang kakayanan? Who does the evaluation before we do that? Uh, it is the uh, the House Committee on Franchises, Your Honor. Did they do it? Doon ho sila nag apply Kasi doon nag eh. Yes, yes, Your Honor. So, as far as they are concerned, they recommended the approval. That's why it's here now in the Senate, right? Yes, Your Honor. SEC, um, meron ba doon sa mga uh, findings ninyo, kailan ba na-incorporate itong mga bagong nag apply ng franchise? Like, for example, golf. Pangasinan uh, Golf. Uh, thank you very much, uh, uh, Madam Chair. Uh, looks like you have a particular interest to Pangasinan Golf Waves uh, uh, Communications Corporation. Well, as per our records, it is a newly registered corporation which was registered with the Securities and Exchange Commission only last August 18, 2016. So we cannot report on the on any of the on any reports filed with the SEC regarding this company. Madam Chair. They were newly incorporated, so wala pa talagang track record dito dun, pa in terms. So kahit sa taxes, wala pa rin? Wala pa rin. Um, how will we know if they have the capability? NTC, do they have the equipment or the necessary? Hindi pa rin yun uh, hindi ba but po, you Your participated Honor. in the hearing, no? Uh, yes, Your Honor. Tinanong ba sila noon? Ang tinanong po kasi sa amin is whether uh, there are uh, still a sufficient spectrum. Sabi namin nationwide, meron pa po. Okay. Um, Ilo Ilo Baptist. So, wait. Uh, before I go to you. So, you're saying that we still have the necessary um, 
that we still have the capability to grant them that franchise. Meron pang, ano, teka, let me go to the actual term here. Uh, meron pa tayong sufficient frequency, a wavelength, enough frequency or wavelengths for the new players? Uh, yes, Your Honor. There are still uh, many areas na kulang pa po yung players. So, para sa servisyo dun sa mga lugar na kinocover nila? Uh, yes, Your Honor. Ano ba yung sa kanila? Within a limited area lamang? Ang pagkaalam po kasi is the, the, their application is uh, uh, nationwide. So, i, there are many areas po kasi in the, in the country. So, kahit sa nationwide sila mag-broadcast, uh, may kulang pa rin sa nationwide ang sinasabi nyo? Uh, may mga areas po kasing kulang pa. So, doon po sila po pwedeng uh, mag-apply. Okay. So, matanong ko yung Iloilo Baptist, no? Anong kapabilidad ninyo? Kasi ang pagbibigay ng franchise ay isang privilegio. So, what is your capability to be able to um, maintain a franchise? For example, for broadcast. Meron ba kayong equipment? Kailan ba kayo na-incorporate para magkaroon nito? Uh, since nine, uh, 25 years ago, uh, we started 1978, the Lula Baptist Church. And then, meron po kami mga equipments uh, donated from the outside. And then, sa financial po, meron po kaming pera. <laughs> Magandang balita yan. Magkano? <laughs> Magkano? Sa kung ano ang i-ano sa amin ng NPC, susundin po namin. Anong ibig mo sabihin? Walang... Uh, kasi po, uh, tinanong po yon sa, sa Congress. Hmm. Magkano po ba ang... Uh, kung mag-start ng station, sabi daw po nila mga 3 to 5 M, mag-start daw yon. So, meron naman po kami. 3 to 5 M? Oo, uh, mag-start lang. Mag-start? Uh, eh, mag application, mag-apply po. Pero pati mag-maintain? Meron po. Kasi mga church members namin, donated from the church members, donated from the pastors around Iloilo Baptist Church. We have so many pastors, around 600 pastors, churches. And then from outside, okay. from America po. Um, NTC, it's uh, 3 to 5 million just for the application? Just for one station, Your Honor. Okay. But then, how much is the upkeep to maintain um, a station like this? Pari, kahit na yung mga maliliit lang, yung pinaka-minimum. Uh, work, working dapat. capital, oh, siguro, we can uh, say na nasa 1, 1, 1 million, 1 to 2, 1.5 million. Ano? 1 million a year lang? Uh, working capital, kasi maliit lang ho naman yung station. Hindi, yes. para ma-maintain, masweldohan yung mga tao. I mean, wala ba kayong national average? How much a radio station actually spends? Uh, one month to is nasa, estimated is nasa 50 to 100,000. It's one oh, month. Siguro si Mr. So, Nick daw alam yung sagot dito. O kaya si Mr. Basbanyo. Two hundred million. For the whole DZRH? Okay, so for a provincial uh, radio station, about two hundred thousand. Uh, what does that two hundred thousand include? Already. Kayang-kaya ng Baptist Church yan. Madami. Pero ngayon, matanong ko na. Dahil uh, mag bagong franchise to, di ba? So, ano bang mga balak niyo sa inyong programa? Meron bang, ay, puro religious lang ba ito? O wala bang, ano ba yung public service aspect? Aside from religion, uh, what do you intend to do for public service? Uh, Magandang hapon po sa lahat. Ito po uh, radio station po namin doon sa Lilo Baptist Church number one po ito po ay non-commercial at saka non-profit po siya uh, mainly music po siya talaga non-profit uh, sabi mo? yes non-profit non-commercial mainly, yeah, mainly music meron pong tigi ilang nagka-record na mga preaching ganun tapos tigi ilang recorded po na drama pero pag kunyari may bagyo mga ganun alam ninyo di ba tutulong yes, yes, kayo meron, meron po mga uh, live broadcast, kaya po lang sinasabi niyo, just in case meron mga bagyo. Meron ba kayong news and current affairs? 
Sa ngayon, wala pa, ma'am. Wala pa. Okay. Yes. No, that's realistic. Kasi eventually, you will build your network. Then you will be able to deploy more people. But since you already have a network all over, I don't see any reason why you can't uh, easily expand to that uh, new segment. Okay. Um, golf. Pangasinan. Um, madali lang kasi pagka-religious organization, alam mo, may meron sila talagang malaking network. Dito naman sa Pangasinan Golf, kailan kayo na-incorporate? Good, of good afternoon, uh, Senator Grace, for your honor. We were incorporated on August 18 of uh, 2016. And we have complied with the minimum requirement of capitalization, both subscribed and paid up, madam. And aside from that, we have been, uh, as we have submitted before, the rollout or development plan of this station once franchise is granted by the Honorable uh, Congress. So, what is your plan of action? What's, what type of programming will you be having? Ano ba ito? Uh, news, music, and, or community service? And, ano? Yes, y yes, Your Honor. It uh, would be entertainment, public service, and uh, news and uh, public affairs. Your main area of concern is the Pangasinan uh, region, uh, what? Initially, initially, Your Honor, we will start from uh, the unsaturated part of Pangasinan and then eventually portions of Region 1, Northern Luzon, and Northern Luzon, Your Honor. And who are your incorporators? Your Honor, uh, we have uh, five incorporators and uh, in fact, we have obtained uh, pledges to become uh, stockholders once a franchise is granted by the Congress. Uh, may I know who your incorporators are? Uh, yes, Your Honor. Uh, this representation, being the president and the stockholder, Engineer Chris Tufor Orpilia, Attorney Rolando Sinlao, Mr. Ismael Basabica, and uh, Attorney Segundino Ferrer. What is, uh, does anybody uh, in your group actually have the experience of running a radio station? Uh, with the uh, candor, Your Honor, none. And then, uh, so, what, what do you intend to do? Do you, you plan to hire someone to do it? Very well, Your Honor. Yes, Your so, Honor. So, why should we grant you this franchise? Can you tell us what, your, uh, what you can offer to the Filipino public? Primarily, Your Honor, uh, radio has, for this time, regained its power, especially in uh, times of calamity. Like social media, people always depend on radio, if only to obtain the latest news on uh, calamities, particularly in the province of Pangasinan, as we all know, the province of uh, your father, your honor, is always prone to flood, even at the slightest strain. Um, so you will, I, I can see that you will be supportive of the mobile disaster alerts law. Yes, Your Honor. Um, which will basically give an announcement in terms of uh, when, whenever there's a natural calamity, a disaster. So that, that's part of your franchise privilege, is really service. Yes, Your Honor. Um, so what is the main reason why you want to do this? Is to fill a need? Because um, there's no one in the broadcast industry. There's no one in the broadcast industry. Why did It's really on public service, Your Honor, and to fill the gap. Because uh, some radio stations in the provinces are controlled by a few. And our vision here is really to comply with the law on distribution to the public of at least 30% of ownership. Owned by a few, the, si, ano lang, Mr. Nick Dao, tsaka si Mr. Basbay. Hindi fair naman, hindi naman nila hawak lahat ng kanila mga broadcasters eh. So, no, but, okay. In fact, now with the proliferation of uh, fake news and social media, I guess the radio is also another source by which we can verify certain uh, news items. So, that is, um, I just want to remind you, it is a, a privilege. This already passed your application well, not your application, but the granting of the franchise was already approved in Congress. So, ngayon yes, dito sir. na lang. Yes, sir. Okay, so the rest are renewals. 
Okay, uh, with the list of the renewals that we have, okay, so the, the, the I, I read all of them. I would like to get a report from the SEC. Is there any particular company that raises a red flag um, with regards to their operations or their incorporation? Legal counsel, Attorney Korea. Uh, yeah. Madam Chair, uh, as we have reported to the House, uh, some of these corporations in the course of their existence in the last 25 years have, uh, well, in some way uh, <laughs> violated certain uh, administrative uh, issuances of the Commission, the Securities and Exchange Commission, which, well, the regular reportorial requirements like, as of, as of late, one of the latest uh, uh, issuances of the SEC concerns the requirement to indicate with particularity the business address of the entity. Some have uh, missed or have uh, uh, filed it late, so they were uh, uh, imposed certain monetary penalties. A few thousand pesos lang naman po. Some, uh, most of them are compliant with the reportorial requirements, the general information sheet after each uh, uh, stockholders meeting or general membership meeting if it's a non-stock organization as well as their audited financial statements. Some are regular. For example, Iloilo Baptist Church has been regular in their reportorial requirements with the SEC. Uh, so there's no problem with them. Kung mahuli man ho, monetary penalties din po. Uh, ang napansin po lang po namin, ang observation po ng SEC, despite the fact that uh, these matters have been brought they have been, despite the fact that these corporations have already, have already been assessed the monetary penalties. Karamihan po, hindi pa po nababayaran. Kung pwede pong, siguro makikiusap kami sa committee ngayon, pati rin po sa House Committee, perhaps with the formalized through a communication that just to compel them to uh, settle with the SEC, their, uh, monet, the, the payment of monetary penalties, if it can be made a requirement that uh, they be required to... Uh, file a certificate of good standing before the committee can proceed with the with considering their so application. One thing is, of course, we would want it settled. Whether or not it's um, one of the requirements, I think that this committee will not have an incentive to act on their franchise renewal unless it's been paid up. So give me a list. Uh, give me an example. Sino may utang dito? In your checkbook, nyo, bayaran nyo na. <laughs> Karamihan po, malilit lang, Chair. O kaya nga, magkano? Well, like uh, Subic, Subic Broadcasting Corporation has been assessed 5,000 pesos. Naman. Dahil lang ho doon, sa <laughs> nagkataon ho hindi pa na, kaya na, kaya huli, sa complete Gordon address. Uh, okay. Na mali ang signatory sa Statement of Management uh, okay. Responsibilities sa uh, filing po ng uh, financial statements. 500 pesos lang po yun. So, sino pa? Sino may yung malalaki-laki? Wala? Yun na yung pinakamalaki? Uh, better broadcasting po, 2,500 pesos for a late general information sheet. Not Non-filing of its stock and transfer book, 1,000 pesos. Mga ganong penalties po. Okay, so make sure to approach um, Attorney Korea to get whatever you, you owe, because I will ask uh, you to furnish me a copy of that, no. yes. Uh, these corporations know naman po that uh, they have to approach our company registration monitoring department to settle these penalties. Uh, Saraga Integrated, meron din pong mga ano, monetary penalties that uh, have been uh, meted out to them. Kasi medyo babagal yung pagsulat namin ng renewal ng franchise nyo hanggat hindi nababayaran. Because it's not the amount, it's the mm -hmm. principle behind oh. it. And... Uh, Chair, if we can just emphasize, as registrar of, uh, reg uh, as the record keeper of registered corporations, we owe it to the public that this information be made available to them because all this information, uh, like the general information sheet, is available to the public such that uh, if the public has any grievance, complaint, or would should any member of the public should decide to verify who are the owners, what is the capitalization, what is the status of the operation, these are contained in, the, in their annual reports and their audited financial statements. So, yun po, uh, as the uh, repository of all these reports, uh, we make it a point to, uh, well, we call it coerce these corporations into compliance. Madam, if I may? Civic Broadcasting Corporation. Okay. Yeah. In fairness to the report of SEC, 
Madam, it's a recycled report already that was done already in the last uh, hearing uh, sa lower house. Tapos na yan eh. I don't know why it was brought up. Uh, bayad na yun eh. Uh, we have paid. Uh, the difficulty with SEC uh, is we are from the provinces and it's hard really to, to commute to Manila uh, just to do these uh, small things. Ang sinasabi ko in the last uh, hearing when we were in the lower house, akong pwede sana SEC does some uh, help sa mga, hindi lang mga registrations or TV stations na local, kung hindi yung mga malilit na tao na ano, para ang SEC could be available. Like in Zambales, uh, walang, wala naman SEC office doon eh. Okay. Uh, and it's so hard to do it online. Pwede online, hindi. Bakit? Kasi yung signal? So may, uh, mahirap ang, ang internet. Uh, but you allow it online, right? But in order to respond, Madam Chair, uh, online filing and online compliance uh, would be implemented, if not this year, next year. As to the location of the nearest SEC extension office, Sambales, that would be our Tarlac extension office, which is located near the... Uh, 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 Tarlac City Hall. Adam, as uh, to the uh, importance or uh, as to our uh, system of monitoring, only in cases, in these cases, such as a, uh, in this case where a corporation needs to, uh, uh, needs to be monitored, such as when the, uh, well, such as when Congress or Senate requests from us a position paper regarding the corporate performance of these companies. Are these companies monitored for their compliance with, the, with, with their uh, uh, reportorial requirements? We really do not actively, uh, we still have to come up with a system wherein we can more frequently uh, impose the reportorial requirements. So how often ba in, in, a, in a year, how many times do they have to submit stuff to you? These franchises. These are in annual Monday. report all requirements. Annual naman that, pala. Dadalawa lang naman po. General information sheet lang po. Tsaka yung audited so financial twice a statement. Twi two items a year. Two reports per year. Okay, I think that, that that's reasonable. I, I know there's not that many, but we can't have too many satellite offices uh, for these. But you were saying... Uh, Madam, uh, Madam Chair, in fairness, uh, I have here a, a document, January 26, 2017, from SEC that we have complied. Uh, we have already paid. This is the document. Okay, then, then that proves it. I, th I think you have to improve on your uh, record keeping and updates. Um, thank you for yes. uh, coming prepared, uh, Mr. Gordon. Yes, Madam Chair. Uh, uh, my apologies, Mad Madam Chair, but I was not uh, prepared really to come up with a more updated uh, compliance list. Uh, I was just responding to the query of the chair as to uh, what are the penalties committed or uh, violated, uh, the offenses violated by these subject okay, corporations. Okay, uh, noted um, all of your manifestations. I would like to ask, um, meron bang representative dito yung BIR? Wala. Meron bang mga outstanding tax debts yung mga nag apply kaya dito ng franchise? Yung totoo kasi tatanungin rin naman namin sila. Okay, so wala. Okay. Um, so matanong ko, lahat ba kayo, lahat itong mga nagre-renew, of course the ones that are just applying now, it doesn't matter because you will still have to prove yourselves. But for the ones who have already the franchise, are you actively broadcasting anything or are you just, uh, I guess in paper only and you're, you're leasing or I don't know what you call it, your signal to another company? Umpisa natin, itong uh, SIMC. Do you have your own programming or somebody else has taken over? Um, good afternoon, uh, Madam Chair. Uh, as for us, we broadcast in all the areas that we are in. Uh, we broadcast um, actively. Uh, in some areas, we have uh, Christian broadcast. Uh, we have Christian uh, programming. In some areas, music and uh, music and uh, and public information and news and public affairs. Um, but we are broadcasting. Depends on some of the areas. We work with a strategic partner to basically, um, because they know more about the area than we do. And so we work in, in tandem with them so that we are 
able to uh, serve service the, the the needs of that area. Um, maybe I should ask uh, Mr. Nick Dow, what do you call this? I mean, we know that there are certain people who own the franchise for, let's say, broadcasting, but they don't take care of the content, so they rent it out. I don't know. What's the term used to another party, to a third party? Ang, what, what's allowed, uh, Madam Chair, is uh, black time. Black time lang po. You cannot, the franchise does not allow us to lease or uh, enter into a management agreement with another party. We're only allowed to do uh, block time, which means we still have to have full control of our radios or, or of our broadcast stations, whether TV or radio. So meaning, <coughs> block time, uh, they will give a certain consideration for the time that they're using, but with your approval yes. is what you're saying. Yes, Madam Chair. So this is how you get around it. Yes. Uh, but, um, is there any, Mr. Velarde, uh, you have, what's it, a radio broadcast uh, franchise? Uh, Madam Chair, good afternoon. Uh, now Telecom, uh, Madam Chair, is a uh, telecommunications company. Oh, it's Telecom. Yes. Okay, uh, and then right now, are you actually using it? Yes, we have a uh, operation right now. We're doing broadband uh, technology together with our uh, sister company, or affiliate, now Corporation, uh, which is uh, an owner of also now Telecom. Uh, it is listed in the Philippine Stock Exchange. Okay, but do, you actually have, do you actually have subscribers? Yes, yes, Madam How Chair. Many? Right now, we uh, targeted uh, 150 uh, enterprises, uh, which is, uh, the brand is now Corporation, Chinese General Hospital. We, in fact, connect uh, 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 an antenna. We call it fiber in the air of 700 megabit per second. This is a project between now Telecom, which is for which we're applying for a renewal, and our, one of our owners, Now Corporation, which is listed in the Philippine Stock Exchange. Chinese General is our, hospital, our uh, customer, Supreme Court, uh, Marco Supreme Polo, Court. Mm. Hotels, uh, Angelicum. We, we have about uh, 150 enterprises because we think in order to compete with the incumbent uh, telecom companies, we would target the niche that has the most pain as far as internet is concerned. With your renewal, Madam Chair, we plan to go head on on mobile internet, which is to the phone. Because right now our uh, operation is only fixed wireless broadband, which is we can put an antenna on top of the building, but not direct to mobile telephone. Uh, once we would be fortunate to have your uh, renewal approved uh, by your committee and the Senate. We will now have the imprimatur to get more investment for a long-term play because it requires a lot of money. As of now, our capitalization is only 1.3 billion. Our uh, owner, now corporation, is, uh, has a market cap of 4 billion. We have an existing application with the SEC as we speak, Madam Chair for uh, preferred shares offering in the public uh, under now corp in the amount of 1.5 b once all of these pieces come together with your approval and the approval of sec we think we could potentially be a third fourth small broadband internet player the philippine competition commission do you think that this um proposal is actually good for the telco players and uh, for the subscribers? Um, good afternoon, Madam Chair. We encourage the entry or the renewal of uh, a third player in the mobile telecommunications industry. Um, we just would like to have some time to go through uh, this bill and to submit our position paper so that we can study it further and compare it to the recently renewed franchise of SMART to ensure that there is fair competition. Um, yes. In fact, it goes to my next question. According to Section 3 of the new franchise, franchisees, the grantee can dispose or lease their facilities as long as the NTC approves. Does the NTC allow this? And this is not found in other franchises such as that of GMA. So that question actually is for the Pangasinan Golf because my concern is uh, we do not allow actually 
uh, the franchises of GMA7 or SMART to sell or lease their franchise without the approval of Congress. So if this is part of your franchise agreement, um, I'm sorry to say, but uh, for the interest of fairness, this will not be uh, allowed. Are you aware of this provision? Yes, we are aware, Your Honor. So, but, but nakalusot yan sa Congress. Hindi bali na. Kasi dito din naman yan. Yes, Your Honor. Your Honor, please. The lease is still subject to the approval, again, of uh, both houses of Congress. So, but I, I'm already telling you now that if we include this provision, uh, it might stall in plenary. Because they'll say, Ay, hindi to fair eh, kasi yung ibang franchise, wala namang ganitong option. And it goes against the grain of having this checks and balance in Congress. Hindi fair dun sa mga iba na they'll have to comply with actually getting the approval of Congress be before leasing or selling. Yes. I just want to let you know that yes. it's not and going to be that easy. We are willing to abide by whatever law is to be passed, John. Okay. All right. Thank you. Um, anything else? Um, NTC? Sa tingin nyo, may mga kapabilidad ba itong mga nagre-renew na to? May mga penalties ba na nakabinbinsa nyo na hindi pa binabayaran? Uh, we believe, Your Honor, they have the capability to continue uh, providing services to the, to, to the country uh, through broadcast and telecoms. And uh, we believe that they have the uh, financial capability to, to undertake all of these projects. Okay, now, owning a franchise in this country is a little bit different than in other countries. Kasi dito, hindi naman natin pinapabayaran eh, di ba? Di ba walang bayad sa atin? Except for the permits, right? But for the actual franchise in other countries, they pay billions for it. So really here, the emphasis, the emphasis is because we want service granted to the, to our, to the public. Um, I want to know, how, how does an ordinary citizen, for example, they want to apply for a franchise. Sa nakalista yung mga available na, na airwaves or channels na malalaman nila. Pupunta ba sila sa NTC? Pwede pa ba? Ganon? Paano malalaman? Kasi ayoko yung pare-pareho lang yung mga may-ari. Parang puro na lang mga big boys. Uy, pwede dyan. May ano pa dyan. Hindi pa kayo nagpapadyaryo na. Oh, ito pa yung available. Ito pa yung underserved. Uh, we have the uh, list of, uh, of existing uh, players and the uh, uh, frequencies assigned to them. And how many more is left for the public? Uh, ma de determine po doon, yes. Uh, we can also provide that uh, oh, give us, the list. Please give our office. And I think yes, you should right. actually do a report, spend a little, and then publish it because unless unless uh, you're really familiar with the, I know, with the a particular group. I don't think you'd know what, what's available there. And PCC should also have it. Diba? Para, ano pa ba yung frequencies na available for telco? Diba? Anyway, uh, is there anything else that we want to add? Kasi wala naman ako talagang objection dahil, first of all, um, mahaba na nga hearing namin kayo. Uh, I, I expect that the performance is when you're actually granted the franchise, that you will abide by the contract. And NTC, do you have the power to cancel their franchise if they don't, they're not compliant? Uh, as to the franchise, no, Your Honor, but we can cancel the authority. The, uh, uh, the authority granted by the commission. They can't air. Then, mga ganon, di ba? Uh, before they can uh, operate this registration, Your Honor, they have to get an authority from the commission. No, but once they have that authority already and they are in violation, ano mangyayari? We can cancel the authority, Your Honor, and they cannot b do broadcasts anymore. Okay. All right. So that's like a checks and balance. Um, so to the franchisees, are you aware that there were amendments made to the GMA and SMART franchises, which we have recently approved in the Senate? Have you reviewed their franchises? In the interest of fairness, we may just follow these amendments. Um, to avoid objections on the floor. So are you amenable to that? Kasi meron doon portion um, yung public service time na ibibigay. That's mandatory already. And that will be uh, made effective as soon as... May, may sunset clause yan. Huh? Oh. 
uh, and, and that public service clause will be applicable once all the other franchises, the old ones, have already renewed. So then by that time, everybody will be compliant because it will be fair game. Oh, ano ba naman yun? Kaya ang kaya na ninyo yun i-comply. You can make it even entertaining so that people won't feel it's like just boring information. Ah, sanay na dyan yung DZRH at saka bombo. Sanay na nila yan. Um, so, are you going to be members of the KBP? Oh. So, do you intend to be members of the KBP? Uh, in, hindi GMA, ha? Ah. <laughs> okay, so sino dito ang magbe-member ng KBP? You're already a member. Oh, all right. So, anything else you'd like to add or you, you want to end this hearing already? Okay. So in closing, this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to ask the list from the SEC for those uh, uh, pending obligations that have not been settled. Uh, just for clarification, Subic, of course, uh, already showed their proof that they're compliant. Uh, we will try to get from the BIR, uh, based on the list here, the corporations involved, if they, they owe the BIR, the government, because you want to know that you're entering this agreement with the government in good faith. Um, PCC also, if you have, you said that you will go through the review, but you know, I, I just ask that everybody does this as soon as possible because we are going to adjourn in May, I mean the end of May. Sino ba dito yung mag-expire na as in right now? Kailan kayo? Civic Broadcasting expires uh, May 21. But can they have a provisional um, permit to air? Uh, Your Honor, we were informed by uh, the House that uh, the uh, renewal of the franchises are, uh, the, the, the uh, application is filed with the Congress, Your Honor. And uh, we are uh, uh, mindful of that one, so the authority continues until uh, Congress decides whether or not the renewal of the franchise okay. is granted. Okay, because um, as you know, even if we agree on, bi on a bicameral um, meeting and we approve this, we still have to await the signature of the President anyway. So, kahit natapusin natin to ng May, nakabinbin pa rin yan doon and expired na kayo ng May. So if you have naman that pending application and Congress does not direct uh, the cancellation, then I guess by all means then, am I correct in interpreting this? They can still broadcast? Uh, yes, Your Honor. Okay. Um, so those are the only concerns we have now um, unless um, uh, Attorney Waralbal, you want to add anything? No. Um, Mr. Juan de la Cruz. Yes, uh, magandang hapon po, uh, kagalang-galang na senadora, at magandang hapon po sa ating lahat. Uh, in the part of Beta Broadcasting, uh, Your Honor, we just would like to uh, manifest and commit that we will settle all our obligations with the Securities and Exchange Commission, only this is the first time that we heard about it. No billing, no nothing. Uh, actually, this is the first time that we heard that we have a liability with the uh, Commission, and we, uh, we are willing to, to uh, not only willing, but we will uh, certainly comply and settle all these obligations. Maraming salamat po. Thank you for the assurance. Can I have the same assurance from everyone else? Oh, uh, Father, uh, siguro naman si Father, o oh, talaga <laughs> Good afternoon, Madam Chair. Um, on behalf of World Broadcasting Corporation, uh, we, ha we used to have four radio stations, two on Cebu and one in Tacloban and one in Ormuk, but the one in Tacloban was destroyed by Yolanda. But um, hopefully this year we're going to reopen it with, of course, the permission of NTC. And um, I am just a new manager of the station. We had losses also because of the destruction of our station in Tacloban. But uh, just like what... Uh, was mentioned by Mr. De La Cruz, no, that whatever SEC or BIR is going to charge us, we will also comply if ever there are still some. Thank you. Thank you for the assurance, Father. So everybody will 
give me the same, ah. Uh, you'll settle your obligations with the government so that you're entering in good faith. And then I will recommend the approval of your, your franchises. Okay, so it's that easy. <laughs> and I expect service. Thank you. Thank you very much, oh. uh, Madam Chair. Okay, so that's it. Unless we have this meeting is adjourned. Thank, Thank you. you.